was growing up, teenagers had to hide the fact they were taking drugs from their parents. Now parents have to hide the fact they're taking drugs <laughs> from their teenagers. It's all gone a bit screw -if. Family parties can be a fucking nightmare. Because <laughs> you turn up and all the generations are there. And what happens is the teenagers hang around, just hang around, talk to the old people. Teenagers are very serious people now. Oh, they're so earnest and serious. They come across, they've got their tofu. I've got my tofu. I've got my mineral water. I'm going fucking mental tonight. <laughs> and they come over to you. Hi, hi. I'm Tom. I'm Tom. I'm six foot seven. <laughs> Fifteen. <laughs> this is India. <laughs> we made Africa. <laughs> we were building a well for the locals, you yeah. know. They didn't want it, but fuck it, we built it anyway. <laughs> we're going on a march tomorrow, Mick, against lactose intolerance. Would you like to come along? <laughs> Over Tom's shoulder is a slightly overweight, balding man looking at me and going... <laughs> I don't do it, obviously. Who don't fancy a live at a family party? <laughs> I don't do it because I'm terrified. I'm terrified of having a fucking heart attack. <laughs> I'm not going to be that bloke stretching out at half past ten, ruining the party. What's the matter with him? Oh, he's having chest pains apparently. <laughs> and I just know the paramedics are going to mess with me. Mr. Flanagan, what have you taken, Mr. Flanagan? It was just a cheeky line, really, just a cheeky line. I wasn't down in it, just a cheeky line. Mr. Mr. Flanagan, I've got a really important question to ask you. Were you out or were you out out? <laughs> 